Champ Card is brought to you by Briggs and Stratton and the 206 Kart Racing Engine. Also brought to you by Drink Water. Real athletes don't drink energy drinks, they drink water. Also brought to you by Sukri Ikog in beautiful Mirabelle. As you see, our brand new kart racing track here in Mirabel. We are getting ready for the final of the Briggs and Stratton Senior Four Cycle Race. Jean Francois Lafontaine is in second place after two races. Beautiful smile from Jean Francois. Everyone is starting off on an even keel. There's Kyle Horder. Kyle Herder, excuse me, who had some trouble in today's semi final. And his brother, Pierce Herder, will be starting on the front row. Matthew Demers is also going to be on the second row. And Simon Belanger was on the podium at Goodwood. Your weather forecast for today coming up here as we see the ICAR helicopter surveying this new beautiful facility. 26 degrees. The winds are from the southwest at 19 miles per hour. Track has been designed by former world champion Ben Cooper. In P1, Jean-Francois Lafontaine. Like I said before, this is the first time that anyone will be racing on this new design track. So everyone is starting off from an even keel. Outside of row one, Pierce Herder from the legendary Herder Racing family. In P3, Mathieu Demers racing for SH on the Fernando Alonso card. Right next to him, a gentleman we've seen throughout the whole season, Jonathan Treadwell, P5, goes to Michael Forget, P6, Simon Belanger, who is also with SH Racing on the Alonso card. And Tom Cadier is gonna is the first driver on an intrepid card in P7. P8 is in the K K card. P9, Chad Campbell racing a GP card, also on a GP card, Zach Bohm. This rounds out the top five rows. Charlotte Lalonde, my favorite driver in this series, is in P11. There's her dad giving her the uh, get ready Charlotte stare. And right next to her, this is Charles Regimbal in the Burrell Art chassis driving for PSL. Hugo Tsibo in the K&K karting Cobra kart. I love these K&K guys. They bring a lot of flavor to the sport. In P14, Nathan Gilbert or Nathan Gilbert. We try our best here to be bilingual. Richard Schumacher will be racing on a Tony card starting from P15. And right next to him is Michael Yanko, P16. Kyle Herter will be starting from 17th position. Look for Kyle to drive up through the field as we normally used to seeing him on the first couple of rows. Your final of the Briggs and Stratton senior four cycle race is about to get underway as the marshals let the drivers onto the track for the first pace lap. Once again, a review of our top seven drivers and our top 14 drivers, not to forget, in P11, Charlotte Lalone. Very fast, the first lady we have in this class William Gusley in P19, Maxim Bussier in P19. And look for Kyle Edgar, who has also been extremely fast this season, to work his way up from the back of the pack. He's going to be starting in P27. Oh, the drivers look very well lined up. A little excitement in the back of the grid. As they head towards the start finish line, green, green. Yes, we have a start. Jean Francois Lafontaine manages to hold on to his first position as they get through this third corner. That would be Mathieu Demers straight behind him. And Pierce Herter is now into P3. Jonathan Trenwell, Simon Belanger, round up your top five. We see a lot of passing here into this very tight hairpin. That's the intrepid card now that just got into P6, I believe. Lafontaine, Demers, Herder, are top from two to four. They're very uh, bunched up together. P9, that's Charlotte Lalonde, who's decided to make a move early here in the race. Tom Cadieux now is up into P6. 
Oh, this is a great camera angle. As we see some in-cart footage, very closely bunched. This is an amazing kart racing engine. It's so equal in performance that it really comes down to the driver and chassis setup. We see Mar Mathieu Demers, not his dad, Marcel. Mathieu Demers right on the bumper is Jean-Francois Lafontaine, and that's Pierce Hurd. Oh, Demers is looking on the inside. This is early for a, a pass for the lead, but Mathieu wants the lead. Oh, a little bumping wheels between Mathieu and Lafontaine. Three wide coming out of the hairpin. And Jean-Francois Lafontaine manages to regain second place. Not quite sure how he did that. And we got Simon de la Belanger now up into third. It looks like Herder and Treadwell are now bouncing back and forth between fourth and fifth position. A lot of exciting passing so early in the race. So many things can go wrong that you tend to just hang on to your position and maybe battle it out at the end of the race. But the drivers here today have decided, excitement, excitement, we want to pass, we want to get to the front as soon as possible. It looks like Jean-Francois Lafontaine is an Alonso sandwich. We'll call him a piece of cheese right now. As we got Mathieu Lafont, Mathieu Demers, Jean-Francois Lafontaine, Simon Bélanger. Lafontaine doesn't like hanging around, but he will hang on to second at this place. And there's Herder on the inside of Treadwell. Will that work for him? Can he pull out of the corner in fourth place? Yes, very nice move by Kyle Herder as he got back into fourth. That should enable him to catch up. Tom Cadieu is now into P6. Lafontaine still in the Alonso sandwich and Kyle Erner and Treadwell right behind. Oh, there goes Jean-Francois Lafontaine on the inside of Mathieu Demers. He makes it stick. Very nice pass. Drivers are giving each other hand signals. Not quite sure what that's all about. Lafontaine, Demers, Simon Belanger, your top three and Pierce Herner, Jonathan Treadwell, right behind in four and five. I think that was Kadjir trying to make a pass on the inside to get into P5 as him and Treadwell are in a sprint coming out of the hairpin or going towards the hairpin. Yeah, Tom Kadjir on the inside. Well, that, that, we got three, four wide coming out of the hairpin. Some wheels are banging. Let's let the dust settle to see who came out of that exchange. It looks like Kadjir is now into P5. He seemed to be the big winner as they were all bustling for position as they came out of the hairpin. Jean-Francois Lafontaine is still your leader, followed very closely by Demers Simon Bélanger and Pierce Herner is slowly catching up. That's Tom Kedzier in five and Jonathan Treadwell in six. The engines are so evenly matched that it really drafting is just so, so key. Surprisingly, as I say that, Lafontaine and Marcel and Mathieu de Mals are pulling away ever so slightly from Simon Belanger. Belanger needs to hang on to the top two if he wants to challenge near the end of the race. Pierre Serter is kind of on his own right now. He, he's, he's pulled away from the lead group behind him and can't quite catch up in the fourth place. We'll be back in just a minute. to action here for the second half of our webcast of the Briggs and Strat Senior Final. Jean-Francois Lafontaine and Mathieu Demers, who've been developing quite a rival rivalry this summer, are in first and second. It looks like they've pulled out from Simon Belanger, and who has also pulled away from Pierce Herder. Lafontaine and Mathieu Demers, nose to tail, nose to tail. A little surprised that they've been able to pull away from the rest of the field. These engines are so evenly matched that uh, you don't often see two drivers who are able to pull away so, have such a big lead in the Briggs and Stratton Senior Final. Oh, Mathieu Demers is pointing his nose on the inside. He really wants to take the victory away from Jean-Francois Lafontaine this afternoon. Simon Belanger is only about four car lanes behind. Oh, here comes the Maris on the inside. Can he make it stick? Yes, he goes a little bit wide. Lafontaine's going to challenge on the exit of the hairpin. But your new leader, Mathieu Demers, can hold on to the lead now as he was able to block Lafontaine coming out of the hairpin. This has allowed Simon Belanger to edge up ever so close. 
Oh, what an interesting pass there by Jean-Francois Lafontaine. That was kind of like in the middle of the corner where he just snuck in on the inside. Oh, you see him getting the card a bit sideways. That's going to cost him. That'll cost him. Mathieu Demers regains the lead, and this has enabled Simon Bélanger to get right off to Lafontaine's bumper. A little bit too aggressive uh, move, in my opinion, by Lafontaine. You can't be going sideways like that. You will not have the power to get out of the hairpin after a move like that. But never count out Jean-Francois Lafontaine. There he goes, dives on the inside. Once again, a Mathieu de Mouse. And this time, he makes it stick as he has a clean exit out of the hairpin. Last lap, last lap. We see Pierce Herter in fourth. He wants to catch this group, but unfortunately has lost the toe. It's a battle between the three. Lafontaine, the mayor. You look like, it looks like Lafontaine's trying to make his card a little bit wide there. Lafontaine de Mers and Simon Belanger has hooked up right behind. We got the Alonso cards trying to get by the Burrell card. Oh, de Mers went a bit wide. Simon Belanger is on the inside, outside, a little bit of contact. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's still Mathieu de Mers now, who's in second place right behind Lafontaine. Belanger seems to have some good speed and nice clean, clean lines. He might be able to challenge for second. Mind you, they're still stuck on uh, Jean-Francois Lafontaine. This is anybody's battle on the last couple of corners. Lafontaine is getting his card a little bit wide. Demers, yes, Lafontaine manages to beat Mathieu Demers by a fraction of a second. Simon Belanger was in third place, really not far behind. Pierce Herter, Michel Delaplante. Kyle Herter, who started all the way back in 20th position, made it up to P6. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't expect anything less from Kyle Herter, who's won so many races and championships throughout his race, his racing life. Tom Kedzu had a strong start, dropped back to eighth. Charlotte Lalonde in ninth, Chad Campbell 10th, Zach Baum in 11th, Sebastien Laviolette, Kyle Edgar, who Ran at the front at the Goodwin race, may have had a few problems, is now in 15, but he did have to come all the way from 27th position. So that was a nice drive from Kyle Edgar. Maxim Pelletier, 22. Jonathan Treadwell, who we're accustomed to seeing near the front, was in 25th, and Charles Robin was in 27th place, another driver we, we're accustomed to seeing near the front. We see the drivers piling off the track as they get in formation to get onto the scale, very important. There's a minimum weight requirement, which evens things out, and the drivers must get on the scale with helmet and equipment. Now you see a lot of good uh, sportsmen ship between our top three drivers. As they're in line at the scale, they must weigh in with their helmet and suit, and there is a minimum rate requirement. This try just evens things out for everybody. As the ICAR helicopter, uh, does an overview of the track to give us some more great aerial footages. We'll be back after this break for our podium celebrations. Here we are, podium celebrations. Surprise, Simon Belanger gets the second place. Pierce Herder third. Matthew Demers had a small technical issue, which unfortunately got him disqualified. And your winner today, Jean-Francois Lafontaine, his second victory of the ECKC Karting Championship. Our next show will be from Karting Chateau Richer. There we go, one more look at our top three drivers. Next show will be at Karting Chateau Richer, brought to you by Drink Water and Champ Cards. I'd like to thank you for being with us today. Today's race was brought to you by Briggs and Stratton and the 206 Kart Racing Engine. Also brought to you by Silky Icar, Icar here in Mirabel, and Drink Water. Real athletes don't drink energy drinks, they drink water. I'm Norm Trottier saying bye-bye for now and looking forward to see you at our next presentation of Champ Card.